Hi everyone, this is Dee with the Paper Drawer. Happy New Year. I hope you all had a good holiday. I wanted to share with you today two slow stitch booklets that I've made. I posted them um, a few pages in the covers on Instagram. Uh, so I thought I would go ahead and do a flip through. This is the mixed media one. And I will show this one last. I thought it turned out pretty cute. So I'll show that one last. This one is for Melissa at the Fabric Path. She, she sent me down this quilt. And um, it was, to me, personally, a little bright. Um, I started stitching on it. And then I decided to go ahead and get something sheer just to cover it. Just to kind of tone it down. Um, you probably recognize this as the Hobby Lobby trim. And I think I got the end of it. Um, I got quite a bit of it um, in the clearance. So... Um, I got that, and this is actually a trim from a mini skirt. Uh, the mini skirt was layered with this uh, crochet, and uh, I got a piece of it probably two years ago. And I was at the thrift store um, late last year, and there was an exact same uh, skirt. So I brought that one home, washed it, and then I took it apart. And I really like that trim or the crochet, not trim. It was a skirt. So I thought I'd go through this with you. I did a geometric spread in my sample book, um, just for reference and just something to do. And I decided, I told Melissa, I think I'll go ahead and do this one that way. So um, every page um, is geometric and it was kind of fun to do. So this had the white quilt backing and I went ahead and attached this first page right onto it. So it's twofold. It hides the stitching from this page and it also um, hides the, all the white that there was. So this is all geometrics and just kind of random stitching and so forth. Here's another one. And this little flower is actually wadded up little cutting snips of, of leftover thread and everything so I made a little flower with it okay. and what I did was I was gonna leave the backs just with the stitching I kind of like that I don't know if you all do but I think it's interesting but it was a little distracting and a little messy so I went ahead and um, took some cotton um, actually it's a tablecloth and I went ahead and covered it and I'm not sure Melissa can do something on this if she wants, but I was going to slow stitch on it, but I thought it's going to be a little distracting, but that's my personal opinion. So here's another page, and I put some vintage buttons on it that came from an estate. This one I backed with a um, bigger, um, actually, crochet doily um, that I had in my stash. Take my jacket off here. Here's another one that I did. Vintage buttons. Just kind of a simple thing. The tablecloth. Here's just a simple page. Um, this actually slips out. <laughs> but I didn't I didn't intend that to. So it just kind of stays in there. Okay, so uh, that I thought that was just a simple page and then I did not cover the back because there wasn't too much stitching so I thought oh, that looks okay here's two more flowers just by making this book I accumulated a lot of scraps so I just balled it up and then I squished it down and then I actually just sewed it in the center out in the center out and I made a flower and I put two vintage buttons on it Here's just circles. This is the last page, and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to stitch this one down. I've been procrastinating. I just need to do it and then get it shipped out. Um, but that's what I'm going to do with this page so that it hides the stitching on the back. The stitching really isn't too bad, but I'm going to just clean it off. So I'm going to stitch that down. Okay. And then this is the back. 
So it's just kind of wonky. It's just kind of messy. Whatever. The pages aren't, you know, perfect or anything. And I, I really like that. Okay. So that's this one. This one is my mixed media one. And this one, I challenged myself to take one whole kit. And I was going to use every bit of it that I could um, in a booklet. The booklet's from Melissa at the Fabric Path. Um, and I got the kit from, oh, is it Ala, Ala Tierra? Mary Brett, you need to correct me on that. I keep saying it wrong. But um, she's in the Ukraine. And if you look in her Etsy shop, she's got wonderful kits and she matches everything. Um, so I challenged myself to use everything in her kit. I came up with these uh, small items that I did not find a place for. These I did not use at all. It looks like she stamped um, on them. But I just, I don't know, I, I just didn't find a place that I felt that I wanted to use them. Then I have this red yo-yo. And then I have a few beads, which beads I can always put on. So I might go back and just use these up. We'll see. Okay. So this is what I did with this um, booklet. I made a little dangle on a bulb pin. Again, everything came from the kit. Okay, not everything. <laughs> this was mine. Um, again, it's just to cover up the stitching. Um, and I just kind of, I like the edges like this. So um, I put those on. But I really like the elements that she had. I mean, they're really, really interesting. And very beautiful, I think. She had a lot of stamps, so I tried to use those. Um, I tried to use some of the um, fabrics and fibers, you know, to hide my stitching. Some show, I'm okay with that. I think that kind of adds to it. But this is really pretty. Again, just everything. This is actually, it looks like handmade paper. And this is little bits. When I first saw it, this was loose in the package, so I thought I'll just stitch it on. Of course, then it started to crumble, so I did have to use a tiny bit of glue, and I just kind of put the pieces together because I didn't want to lose them. And this is a stamp. And I believe this is a yo-yo. Okay, and then I added this piece because looking on the side, it really needed something. So I added, just added this piece. Okay. Here's the second. She had little buttons, little snaps. Another stamp. She had the buttons, tassel. And here's a little flower. I'm not sure it's gonna survive. I went ahead and put matte medium on it, but this was loose in the package. I'll show you another one further back. Uh, I probably should have done something, but it's fine. I'm, I'm losing a little bit here, but it, it's it's okay with me. <laughs> a little um, <sighs> close pin, <laughs> and then she had a little tag, and I stitched a button, stitched a button on it. There's another stamp. It's just some cloth, and I stitched. She had. A feathers in it she made this little pocket and so I just stuck the extra stamps in there because I wanted to I wanted to use everything so I thought that was a good way to do it it's just really cute in that pocket here's some beads that she had wooden beads here's another little pocket put the feather in it she had these cardboard tags the beige was stuck, uh, stitched on, as was the little bow. I just added this little, it looks like a, from a garter, um, just an old little piece of plastic from a guard, garter. And then this piece was just there in the package. And then 
this was together already so I went ahead and just kept it that way didn't want to undo it of course and then I just added it and she had this and then I had some extra stamps this was in there so I made it a pocket these stamps are beautiful that's how come I, I really wanted to use them oh this was double yeah like a little book but I love that I really do so did that and then I just use this to kind of clip them in with here's another page a little flower these are beautiful the beads the little octagon that was a pretty page here's the other flower this one was in a bag and I probably should have put it in a bag I didn't think of it till I saw this one so I left it in the bag and I went ahead and stitched it in so I can try and save it and preserve it these were already wrapped I like that so I left those as is the bead, the little crocheted trim, button, and I really like this trim on the side here, so, and this covers the stitching on this side. I like these pieces of wood. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. I wasn't sure how I was, go how I was going to use them. I love this lace by layering it and everything it covers it up this is a tag from a children's clothing i looked that up um but it's from um, a child's clothes it's a tag so here's another little piece of wood i just stitched through it and tied a bow and then here's another slice of wood this of course is the back I didn't cover it with a cotton doily or anything I had this idea and I thought this would hide it so I went ahead and I just used strands of the thread that I used in this booklet and I'm gonna leave it I like that now the little piece of leather crocheted that's the second one that was in there some cross stitch Here's another piece of paper, and this one I really um, sewed it down, so hopefully it stays intact. This is awfully pretty here. And this, okay, I lied. Like I said, I used a cotton doily that I had. This is actually from Melissa at the Fabric Path. I, I love it. This is my all-time favorite. Um, when I first bought the kit from her, she had this in there, and I just went crazy. So if I don't use it, I just hoard it, and I, I save it. Um, so I put it in this book, and then I just sewed the beads on. And again, it hides the um, stitching from this page. Okay. And this is the last page. I put little beads on it. X's. This is a paper tag, cardboard tag. I just stitched that down. And this was a crocheted. It almost, it's pretty um, coarse. It almost feels like um, string rather than like crochet thread. This was already tied, so I just left it. And this is the back. So I like how this turned out. Um, it's chunky and everything so I thought it was really pretty so I'll probably keep this one in my collection it may eventually go into my Etsy but I do want to enjoy it for a while um, but that uh, is what I had been working on and I hope to get back into making journals and creating things um, since it's the first of the new year so we'll see how that goes so keep an eye on my youtube and my etsy shop and i want to thank all the subscribers and all the new subscribers that i got i really appreciate it and i like to share a lot of things that i do 
If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them. But I appreciate it. Happy New Year. Thanks, everybody.